How's it going out there? This is Feed Your Mind. And so are we living in the last days right now? Well, I came across information that there was a plan for the world. I came across this information in around 1998. Might have been even earlier. You see, I was alerted to a lot of stuff early because when I listened to there was a Tupac album release called Machiavelli, the Don Cluminati. And I was like, there was a lot of people around that time wondering, like they were kind of suspicious of what actually happened to him. And if he was still around, cause he was putting out music, a whole lot of music after he had passed. So, and that sparked me as a youth to like, I was looking at, um, the name Kaluminati looking for clues. And, and then I was like, what does that mean? I was thinking, then I looked it up and I found information like real early. Like this was like 97, 98. And it was a, a website about the Kaluminati. And then there was a link at the bottom that said Illuminati. And I was like, Whoa, okay. What's that? So I, I looked up that. I mean, I clicked on the link and, I discovered a blueprint for the future of the world, not just America, but the world. Now, the internet was pretty new, so there wasn't much, a whole lot of information like that out at the time. But yeah, I, I sure came across it and I was intrigued by it. And I saw the plan for the regions of the world. There was like 10 regions and everything matched up with the Bible, like re with revelations. And I was like, wow, this is, I really stumbled across something, I thought. And then I, I was, I was trying to tell my parents and my, um, you know, people I know and stuff. And it was like, I was like, I, I thought I really cracked, you know, the code and really found something. And then their, all their reactions was like pretty much, they just pretty much dismissed it, everybody that I told. And that, that's when I started realizing, wow, this is, this is weird because I thought we were all like, Christians and we believe the Bible, you know, family members and everybody. So, but everybody is like real deep into the organized religion and organized religion. They don't really cover this stuff very much. Like the, um, you know, when I stumbled across this, uh, secret society stuff, they don't really get into that stuff. So I guess I, I figured like, okay, so it looks like they won't look into anything if it's not coming from organized religion. That's so I was like, okay, that's why I, I realized that's why I didn't get really a response from people. Cause I was really excited. Like I thought I found something big and then everybody else's reaction was like, no, nah, they dismissed it. Like it was just some type of, you know, conspiracy theory or something. And I was like, okay, well I knew what I saw was like, it was just, it was so true. Like I saw so much information that I couldn't dismiss. It was, um, like I said, the 10 regions, it was a plan. It was a blueprint for a world power to take over the earth. And then I started finding more and more information and how they want to worship Lucifer. I don't even like saying that name, but um, basically, yeah. That's like, I found out that they want to like have a world order that worships the beast basically. And then I found they want to make people buy and sell with, um, chips or yeah, I can say that anyways. So I found a lot of details and then I was like, well, this is definitely, and then I knew it was true because it was how, you know, the information was clear. It was very clear. And I, I, I realized, okay, this group is real. I saw like there was history on this group and this, you know, this, this secret group. And it was like, so this isn't just something that somebody's just made up on the internet. I, I, I knew because I was able to decipher that. Yeah, this, this was, this is an actual group. Then I then I um, traveled around my local city and then I found a Freemason building. And I was like, wow, 
Then I started looking at, you know, symbols. I, I started finding like all types of things around like the Capitol buildings. And I started like really understanding like, whoa, this, there's something going on here. And I didn't need the validation from any other Christians, although I was kind of like wondering why they didn't, why they weren't like more excited about this information I, I, I uncovered. <clears throat> then I came across like the prophecy club and, and stuff like that. And they were really onto it. And I was like, okay, this is cool. Cause they're like Christians and like they, they're believers in the Bible and everything. Uh, but they're actually into the information I uncovered. And so I was like, wow, this is cool. Cause, um, this prophecy club, knows like they really had a whole lot of information and they and it verified the stuff I, I was discovering. And so so I really um had validation like okay I was I definitely knew I was onto something. And then um so basically it looks like the things that I read started fulfilling. I watched over the years how the the things I had discovered was actually happening. So I, I looked into more researchers and I discovered all types of researchers like, um, can I even say these names? Because they're all like pretty much removed from mainstream platforms. But I looked into all, a lot of areas when it came to, I won't really say the names of the people I, just, I was listening to, but I was listening to a wide range of uh, researchers, whether I agree, agreed with them or not on everything. It didn't, I, I wasn't really, I wanted the meat and the substance of knowing and understanding what I was looking into. I didn't have to agree with them on everything. Some of these researchers went in, off into other areas and, um, but I knew where I was found, my foundation, and I knew how to, um, you know, leave, I knew how to, like, Taking the information that I needed, the, the valuable stuff, and then dismiss anything else that if they started going off into other areas that I didn't feel comfortable with. But that was I was able to discover a whole lot of information that way. Then I, you know, there, then more and more websites started coming up, and I started really getting a lot of information, and um, I started understanding a lot. So now. And, and then I started seeing things happening in the world. And, and a lot of times, you know, I was still younger. So I was like, I got real excited. Sometimes when I saw some things happening, I said, oh, I was thinking like, this could be it. And then it turned out that it wasn't it. It wasn't yet. The time wasn't yet. So I went through that a few times. Then I started like when things started, when I started hearing dates and stuff, like look out for this date and look out for this date and or something big would happen. I would, I would end up. Eventually, I would know. Like, okay, well, I'll just kind of pay attention, but I'm not gonna like get real excited. Like, oh, okay, this is it. You know, this is the, the end is right now. You know, like, so I started like getting more like, okay, I'm not gonna get, I'm not gonna go that far anymore. Thinking that it's over. I mean, the end starting now, and then um. And then people would be like, well, a lot of people would be like, nobody knows the time or the hour. Only the father knows, not even the son nor the angels know. I was like, okay, yeah, I agree with that. I agree with it. Okay. But when it comes to identifying the seasons and when things are starting to take place on this earth, that could possibly lead to the end. Some might even call it the tribulation or, you know, there, there's going to be like Jesus had told his disciples because his disciples had asked, like, when is when is the end going to be? And he had to tell them, like, look, you're going to see things just like, you know, when the seasons change, when you know, when you see the trees start to bud, you're going to know that uh, spring is near. And then, you know, after that, summer's near. Um, so basically, like you can see, you can identify changes in the world that will um, 
that should verify to you that the end is approaching. It, it could be like the birth pains. So that's what I, that's kind of what I started looking for is just kind of like a general sense of the times that we're in, uh, the times that we're in. Um, so it wouldn't necessarily mean it's the end times right then and there, but it might mean that we're getting to a place now where the end is approaching according to the signs. And so I started seeing, you know, I started seeing things. So now to catch up to the current time, like right now, I'm seeing a lot of things um, take place. I even see like signs of the four horsemen because the uh, the pale horse rider, um, what was it? There's a black horse, a red horse, and a white horse. And I'm starting to see these signs real strong now. Uh, so that's kind of like an indication that we're getting there. It looks like we could be in the end right now. Like, like, but like we said earlier, we don't know the time or hour, but as far as the season, it looks like we're in, we're definitely in, in a time now that's looking biblical. All right. Um, so I don't get into predictions and I, I kind of like, like I said, I pay attention when predictions come up. I kind of like, you know, I, I, I'm aware of it, but I don't really get to, I don't really like say, oh, okay, this one date, this particular date is the end. No, that's, that's not how you are supposed to look at this anyways. Like this one date right here coming up, everybody, this date coming up in, in the next month or two, People, you know, every once in a while, the internet will be like, "Oh, this date, look out for this date or that date." I remember there was a comment they said, "Comment Ellen in or something." They said, "Oh, this is gonna be the date uh, to look out for." I don't, I don't get into that stuff too much. All right, I, 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 I take note of it, but I don't. I've, I've seen enough of these days come and go, to where I don't, I don't be, I don't think that. I don't get real excited over stuff like that anymore. I just look at things as a general season. You see, a day to God is a thousand years. All right. So we could be at the end of that thousand years, um, the end of the days. You know, we could be we could be in that time now, but we don't know how long it's going to drag out. Um, there is some things that could take place in the not too distant future though, where it'd be more indicative of how much time we have left because there was reports in the book of revelations about there being like seven days, well, seven years where, um, we will be ruled possibly by some type of antichrist figure or something. And it's like, I look, you guys will have to fill me in more on this stuff. Cause I have to kind of brush up on this information, but from what I recall, there's like seven years and it's cut short to like three and a half years because it just gets so bad and nobody would have survived if it kept going. So God had to step in. There had to be a divine intervention at that point, just like the days of Noah, where things got to a point where we woke up the sleeping well, not, he's not sleeping, but, you know, we woke up of like, well, it, it got to a point where there was a divine intervention because of what was taking place on earth. And it almost looks like at this point, that's kind of what these secret societies are doing. It almost looks like they're, the way they're going about everything right now. It almost looks like they want a reaction, you know, because that's just what it kind of looks like at this point. Cause a lot of the things going on are kind of connected to mankind at this point. Like a lot of the things happening right now is connected to man-made things. It's not, it's almost like it's not even natural. It's like the four horsemen is taking place, but it's like man's, involved in everything happening like the supply chain if that gets worse that'd be like a um famine 
you know? And it's like they're making it happen, though. And then with the, um, can we say plague? Yeah, with the plague thing, um, it's like they're all involved in it. It's, 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 it, doesn't, it doesn't appear to be natural. And that would be like the uh, the horse of, what horse was that? I think the, the pale horse. And then you can see the red horse with the war, you know, um, lurking around the corner. If, um, you know, we've already been through a few world, world wars on this earth. Um, and then from the research I read, there's planned to be a third one. And it might even be uh, already taking place because it could it might not be a conventional third war. The third war might have. See, there was a specific plan that these secret groups had came up with, and it called for three world wars. And so we could be in we could be in the process of that right now, and it could be a silent, you know, it, it, it could be it could be implemented in a way where we people, the general public might not be aware that that's that could be what's taking place right now. And, and people might just might not be aware of that. But some of us are aware because we're awake. And I'm going to I can't wait to make this next video for you guys, because um, we are going to talk about the awakening. All right. But for now, as far as the last days, yeah, I would say we're definitely in a interesting times is no way near the same as it was just a couple years ago. Like month by month, almost, it seems to be getting progressively and noticeably closer to this biblical time. It seems like we're definitely in the biblical time. I would, it looks like we're in revelations. Like we're literally living in revelations at this point as, as, as far as what it appears. Um, like Jesus said, we can look out for the signs. We can we can see we can see and identify things that can um, allow us to know these things. So um, let me know your thoughts. Like, do you think it's soon? I mean, if, if I was to make a prediction, I don't I don't like making predictions. So I don't know if I should. But let me see. Hmm. Well, you don't even really got, have to make any predictions because we, there's actual. Um years and dates that we can see from the UN. I don't even know if we can say them. I'll say them. So like they're saying things like 2030 and stuff like that. And like I said, with those dates, it doesn't mean that's the end. It just means that that could be when this new world. Uh, could I, see, I'm trying to say, get, get by without saying certain words. Um, The new establishment would probably be taking place very soon it looks like it looks like we're in the process of a great reset right now with a grand takeover a a, a worldwide takeover where they're establishing the kingdom the final hidden kingdom with the UN in charge it's kind of what it's looking like at that point that would completely fulfill the research I've read. And then we got to wonder like, okay, so they're behind it, obviously. So the fallen ones, it's not so surprising because the fallen ones are using mankind to achieve, uh, you know, it's like they're in partnership with the enemy's kingdom right now. And then what all this really shows us is the truth of the Bible. Like, okay, so, the Bible was warning us about this and they're enacting the things that the Bible was warning us about. So some people might say, oh, well, they're just the Bible is a script that they're going by or something like that. They might say, you know, and they might say, well, it just looks like. Like, you know, they they're just going by. They're making the Bible happen. And it's like, well, you know, you can look at it like that or you can look at it like things the bible was giving us a heads up and warning us because the bible definitely is clear that it it was warning us it wasn't it's like the bible was telling us what to look out for and 
what's going to take place and wasn't on their side, though. It was saying how the kingdoms will come to an end that they're trying to establish. And they said there's going to be an eighth kingdom. You know, they, they went down like the kingdoms from Persia, Egypt, Rome, Greece, um, they, but in consecutive order. See, I, I was out of order there, but there's like a lineage of kingdoms. I think there was like, how many? Was there like seven? And then the eighth hidden final kingdom. And then each one ended up being um, removed. I believe it was divinely removed. Like it was the time had at the end of each kingdom. It was, it seems like God was involved in a lot of the endings of these kingdoms. So according to the Bible, um, so this eighth kingdom, this final kingdom, they said would, um, take place and uh that could be approaching soon and once that approaches i don't know if that's when the seven years starts and then it gets cut down to like three and a half years because um it wasn't able to go on uh so that no because no man would have been saved if it continued but anyways look let me know your thoughts. Do you think we're in the in the in the end times? I'll leave a link to my uh, end times playlist in the comment section and the description box so you can check it out. Um, are we in the last days playlist by Feed Your Mind Three? So check that out. Um, I also leave a link if you want to help my channel go full time. I got three channels, and I could go full time on my Feed Your Mind Two. Um, if if you just chip in a dollar, it will cover help on all my channels. And um, so um, with your support, I can possibly end up going full time. And um, also, um, plus you're helping keep this channel online. And also, I'll leave links to my social media and my other channels. So thank you for tuning in. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. This has been Feed Your Mind signing off.